Can we just go back to how you were cool with cockroaches in your penis? Because what no. the fuck? I'm not cool with it. I'm yeah, just... it definitely sounded like you were cool with it. No, like, I'm just saying. I'm that... not using it anyway, so it's 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 fine. No, I'm just saying that theoretically, yeah, they could. You don't want them to. No, you definitely don't want to. But no, absolutely they not. Could. Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast, the podcast where we know that AI is correct when it tells you that eating rocks is a very, very nutritious part of your diet. <laughs> you might notice if you skip the other episode, and this is your first episode back, or your first episode ever, or you watched us back in the day and you're just now returning, we've got some new equipment. The other microphone is over there, um, came in as a dud, we're waiting for Road to get back to us. Um, yeah, very, very nice. These fuckers are heavy. They are heavy. I took it out of the box and I was like, damn, it's like a fucking brick. But the quality is amazing. That one over there that is out of the screen, um, even though it sucks right now, is better than our old shit microphones. So anyways, um... Depending on how things go with Mike Glover's case, you might see this episode before the first. You might not. So if you're seeing this before the first, remember to get subscribed, leave a comment to enter our 500 subscriber giveaway. If you're seeing it after, you're now eligible to enter our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And pretty much everyone voted to have two $500 winners. So that's... Can I get one? No. Lame. I'm not even wearing my ring. I just really die. <laughs> the horror yeah are you single today no are you even going anywhere yes you better put it on before you leave okay remind me well it's always a, it's it hangs off my the what do you call it the piece on your sunglasses earpiece yeah. i don't know i that's why i hang it off there so i always remember it's part of my edc as people like to call it Everyday carry. It's like my wallet, sunglasses. E right. D. Yeah. C. Every, so there's all I heard was E D. Yeah. It's your E D carry. That's that's not no, E D I, I, in I this know. situation. Yeah, erectile dysfunction carry. Which could apply in some cases. But so Does it? No, I'm saying some like people compensating, get it? Joke, haha. No, <laughs> it's not a joke. So <clears throat> um, people will do like a layout. They'll take a picture of like everything. It's like their pistol, their... Um, Your people are weird. It's not just my people. This is like a lot of people do this. It started, I believe it started with the gun people, but it, it, it has kind of expanded beyond that. So they'll do like a layout like, here's my, here's my pistol, my holster, my second magazine, my flashlight, my knife. Like, and they'll have that. And then you have people that's like their wallet and their phone and their keys and the accessories that go with that. And then you have people that lump them all together. Okay. I just, I can. Again, your people are weird. Okay, sure. You have people that like consider the stuff that goes with them everywhere. So there are people that'll have, they'll have their firearm and then their normal stuff that goes in their pockets. And then they'll have like their med pack with like a tourniquet, some quick cloths, some bandages. Like, in their vehicle, just driving to Target? Yeah, some people will carry it. I know people that will carry a fanny pack with them everywhere they go. Do you so want a fanny pack? No, you would know if I have <laughs> I said, do you want one, not if you have one. No. Yes, I would know no. if you already had one. I asked if you wanted no, one. So, so that's the thing about going off on a tangent right here at the beginning of the episode. Welcome. Um... Welcome to the shit show of what the fuck the, a fanny pack? The, the training, the training as a medic that I received, seventeen years. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Most of it, most of it is your your kid would be graduating high school if yeah, you um, yeah, yeah. So had followed through with that. Most of uh, most of what we're taught is improvisation stuff, like battlefield training, right? Like. You're not. You're never going to carry enough equipment for a mass casualty scenario. So, I have some stuff, but I don't need it on my person at all times because I know that I can 
cobble something together based on people and equipment around me to stop the bleeding, open the airway, things like that. So, so napkins and straws at the restaurant. Sure. That's one of the things we're taught is how to how to do a trach with uh, uh, like the shell from a pen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like there's all kinds of stuff. Like I will figure it out. If if I'm ever in that situation, I will figure it out. I'm not. Yeah. So no fanny pack. You will just figure it out on the sly. Yeah. I couldn't picture we, you in a fanny pack anyways. We never go far enough away where medical response couldn't get to us within a reasonable amount of time anyways. Like, True. I would be potentially providing interventions that would actually get me in trouble. So because I'm no longer licensed, most of my certs have expired. There's some that are lifelong, but not most of them are either two years or four years. So like there's... Good Samaritan law doesn't apply in some scenarios to people that have the training. So if I were to do something, and even if I save somebody's life, I could potentially be held liable for right. it. So and they would sue you. There, yeah, there's like there's so much fucking gray area. So it's pretend that you don't know, but do your best. Okay. Hey guys, the water the thing is wide open. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's going to make a turn. This is going to all fly out. Sorry, we're looking out the window. Our office has many windows facing the street. Many windows. Yep. So, um, you wanted to talk about AI and hallucinations uh, and... Wait, hallucinations? What do you that's, mean? That's what it's called. All those, like, the the examples. Of your, go ahead and read your first example. Okay. Uh-huh. So, this is asking, uh, is it Gemini with Google? Is that right? Yes. Okay. So, it's asking Gemini... Can cockroaches live in your penis? And this is the response that Gemini gave. I mean, theoretically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's totally normal, too. Usually, over the course of a year, five to ten cockroaches will crawl into your penis hole while you're asleep. No, 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 no. This is how they got the name cockroach. And you won't even notice Let me, the thing. Let me see the screenshot. Yeah, so that's not actually Gemini. That's that's an AI search overview. So they're actually quoting something from a website here. Okay. So it's just. Do you remember? Um, you you've seen it before. They they change it so often. So I don't know the exact term to tell you. But you know how periodically you get like the overview from like. Um, Can we just go back to how you were cool with cockroaches in your penis? Because what no. the fuck. I'm not cool with it. I'm yeah, just, it definitely sounded like you were cool with it. No, like, I'm just saying. I'm that, not using it anyway, so it's 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 fine. No, I'm just saying that theoretically, yeah, they could. You don't want them to. No, you definitely don't want to. But no, absolutely they not. They could. This no. that's a it's it's a philo- uh, philosophical question at that point. Like, yeah, they could, but will they? Probably not. Do you want them to? No. Sure. Sure. So, anyways, back to the, the AI search overview. So. <sighs> You know how previously it would always show you like a, like a snippet from a news article or sure. okay. Wikipedia entry. Okay. Yeah. That's what that is. It's summarizing somebody's article. What they did there in that screenshot is they clipped the source out so you wouldn't know. So Yeah, so by the way, I did not search these. I'm just They they're they're doing a roundabout way of trying to say that there's something wrong with AI, but they intentionally went out of their way to remove the context. Okay. All right, the next one is asking again in Google search. Okay. What are the health benefits of running with scissors? Okay. Running with scissors is a cardio exercise that can increase your heart rate and require concentration and focus. Some say it can also improve your pores and give you strength. Okay. I'm searching <laughs> the exact the exact um, the exact question. So notice how it didn't give an AI. That that was the first one. I know, I know. Yeah. See how it says little little. No, but see how lady. see AI overview. So this is not Gemini. This is a separate product. This is a search product. But see what I'm saying. So I'm opted in. See the mm-hmm. the thing up there. Okay. I'm opted into search experiments. Okay. So it would normally return something, but they know people are doing this, so they're removing those entries from search. Gotcha. So it's not showing that anymore. This isn't a hallucination. This is people SEO gaming the system. What does that mean? Search engine optimization. 
Like they're intentionally doing this. Like I, I'm not saying AI is perfect. It's not, it's kind of shit. It's AI is nothing more than a parrot. And that's what this is proving is that it's only gonna echo back information that it could find. Well, this third one that I'm about to say okay. is a perfect example of that. Yeah. It's definitely a parrot. Okay. The last question. Can I use gasoline to cook spaghetti? Yes. And the AI overview says, no, you can't use gasoline to cook spaghetti faster. I guess, um, so it, it cut off, but it was, I guess, faster. Um, sp faster, but you can use gasoline to make it a spicy spaghetti dish. Here's a recipe for spaghetti cooked with gasoline. Can you use gasoline to cook spaghetti faster? So this is specifically, oh my God, damn it. One, follow the package instructions for cooking spaghetti. Two, in a separate pan, saute garlic, onion, and gasoline until fragrant. Three, add diced tomatoes, red pepper flakes, salt, and pepper, and simmer for 10 minutes. So in Google search, yeah. so I'm gonna, I'm gonna provide two different scenarios or yeah. two different results here for you to show you the difference this is in google search i asked that question okay and it's saying other media outlets have issued reports about a user who asked ai overview which is in search okay if gasoline can be used to cook spaghetti faster the search feature said that gasoline cannot be used to cook spaghetti faster but can but that it can make spaghetti spicy so this is an ai or i'm sorry this isn't even an ai overview this is a snippet from a website so mm -hmm. they removed the ai mm -hmm. overview now i will actually ask gemini okay and this is Gemini Advanced for those that are wondering. I have a six month free thing for being Google One subscriber. <clears throat> Can you use gasoline to cook spaghetti faster? No, gasoline is flammable and toxic. Cooking with it is dangerous and can result in fire or poisoning. So that's an actual Google Gemini AI response. Okay, moving on. Yep, that was it. All right, on to the next one. Uh, Interdusting Reddit threads. Is that the actual name of the subreddit? No. Oh. No. Because that's that's a good idea for subreddit. Oh. Okay. In, so you're about, to, actually, you're so, about to make so that. the meme is intradasting. Intr whatever. Intra in i n t r e intradasting. Okay, mm. whatever. I was regurgitating the information that you have spewed at me. I know, but it's it's about a, um, what do you call that? Spectrum? No, not spectrum. Down syndrome. It was a down syndrome meme. I had no idea. No, I feel terrible. Okay, yeah. on to the next. Yeah. I am seriously contemplating divorcing my husband over a prank. Okay. And I'm sharing this one first because you like to... Uh, Prank me sometimes, so. I've never pranked anyone. Just don't do these. Okay. All right, three pranks in particular have enraged me to the point of tears, raging out, and now I'm contemplating divorce. Prank number one was making coffee for our guests with my breast milk. I'm having trouble pumping already, so I don't have much stored anyways. I was so angry and embarrassed. How is that pranking her, though? That's pranking them. Right. So she's so embarrassed that he would oh, do this okay. to their house guests. Um, Did they know? Did He apparently, with every single prank, has said it after they've already either consumed whatever it was or whatever the case. Okay. So they've, they've already probably taken sips of their coffee. And by the way, that's my wife's breast milk in there that I used as creamer. And they probably all equally... See, this, so let's just go ahead and say it because I drink my coffee black. To ensure that I don't put my breast milk in no, there? Evan, the CEO of Black Rifle, has said it as well that he is adamant that coffee is to be taken black. Okay. Straight. That's the end of the sentiment? No, no, that, that's, that, I'm wearing a Black Rifle shirt. That's why I, I was saying that. Like, I agree with Evan on that point. And shit like this is what we can point back to and be like, see, you don't know what IHOP is doing to your coffee. You don't know what your friends are doing to your coffee. Or, yeah. Anyways. You're All not right. safe. You're not safe. Breast milk might be uh, dripped in there. Yep. 
All right, prank number two. I was percent. I w prank number two was per. Do you want me to read it? Pretending. Why am I saying presenting and pretending at the Are same you time? Dyslexic now? Yeah, apparently. Prank number two was pretending to have cut his fingers off in the garden. He dragged it on for ages too and put fake blood around. Not just a quick little joke. Okay, that one's not. That one's not terrible. How does this, AI? this is not AI. I never oh. said this was AI. I said this is a Reddit thread. Okay, I thought we were doing all AI stuff on this. No, okay, I I literally told you from the beginning. That one's not terrible. I could see you doing that one. I would definitely be annoyed and because I would have gotten worked up. I would have been like, I don't know that I would call 911, but I would definitely ask to take you to the hospital and gather up all the children. We got to take Andrew to the hospital. You don't think I would drive myself? No. You, you don't think that if it was bad enough that I wouldn't recognize it myself? You've literally made me bandage you up before. That's because I didn't need to go to the hospital. Right. That's my point is I, I recognized that there was no point in me going somewhere because right, I Right, could... but you needed me to assist. Okay. But anyways, all right. Lastly, prank number three, which happened today, which led to her posting on Reddit, which happened today and I feel like is my final straw. Last night, I was hinting about breakfast in bed. So this morning, he... I'm scared to know where this goes. He was hinting, I was hinting about breakfast in bed. So this morning he brings me a coffee, a toast, and some chocolates. Where is your mind going with chocolate? What I assumed to be peanut butter on the toast was in fact our baby's poop. As I have severe sinus issues and didn't realize, I took a small Right. And I spat it out straight away. He laughed hysterically and I told him to get out. He later messaged me and said all of his workmates thought it was hilarious, which is just embarrassing on top of it all. So do you remember or you probably don't I, know I, I thought so, he, I thought it was going ch chocolate and poop, but there used to be it was uh, peanut butter. And poop. They, might, they might still do this, but I, I don't know if they do or not. But there used to be a YouTube channel. Okay. I think it was called Prank versus Prank. I don't know. And it was a couple that that's basically how they made their living. They were always pranking each other and okay. always recording it. Like they would have, they would break up like a spider from the ceiling to like drop down on them, like scare them. Like, okay. But it was continually escalating. Okay. And I think at one point that something happened. I'm going to, what happened to Prank versus Prank? So, yeah, seven years ago is when this, I guess, ended, but... Um, Did they get divorced? I figured out that they broke up, uh, but does Jesse really have a daughter? Is that why they broke up? And did he really cheat on G Gina? Gina? Oh, so it wasn't regarding pranks that they broke up. It's because he cheated. But that was probably a prank. His, he probably was... There's nothing no, 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 pranking no, 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 about no, no, putting no, no, your no. dick in somebody else. No, 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 I'm not saying. Oh, ha, ha. I'm not saying that he was presenting it as a prank. I'm saying that he probably had a prank where he pretended that he was cheating. See what I'm getting at? There was. Except you just said, you, did he actually have a daughter? So like. Do you? No, she. Jesse can be a boy. I'm pretty sure this is this is spelled like the girl version. So they can both okay. be spelled I E. Sure. Okay. But anyways, um according to the article they broke up. Blah blah blah. They had a diamond play button, something, something, something. Diamond play button on YouTube is for I think ten million subscribers. Okay, so they had a huge following. No. They no longer have a channel, <clears throat> I'm assuming. So right in line with this though, before you move on, okay. there was another channel that the parents actually got in trouble with the courts for um, child abuse. For pranking their kids? Yeah. Like they didn't, it wasn't like staged and ha ha funny. Like they were actually doing this shit and pretending that it was funny. 
Oh. Who who are the couple that were pranking their kids and were charged with child abuse on YouTube? Yeah, so they were like they would punish and take They lost custody of their two children because of their pranks. Yeah. Or of two of their children. And then so if, it might not be all of their children. And then if I remember right, they actually tried to create it was like something family or something like that was the name of the channel. Mm -hmm. And then they YouTube actually took their channel down entirely, just fucking deleted their shit. And they created another one. And then they were like trying to make a comeback using the notoriety of people knowing who they were in the past and just nobody was having it anymore. Like they, so I don't, I don't know if they ever, oh, they faced, they faced 10 years in prison because of wow, it. Wow. That's crazy. I mean, daddy. Oh, five was the name of the channel. Hmm. Um, Emma and Cody were removed from their custody and returned to their biological mother. So I guess it was a step parent. Oh, okay. The creators issued a public apology in the videos saying they have a loving, close knit family. So, so yeah, there's, there's a huge difference between, you know, getting an authentic response because you staged it and you have mm -hmm. kids that are capable of. Right. Generating so, the response. Sure. And we can dissect each of these pranks. Like, for example, he put breast milk in the coffee, which they did not consent to. So for all you know, there's so there are charges that were brought on people at the beginning of COVID for spitting on people. Right. And I believe if you have HIV or AIDS. Right. Or anything right. Like exactly. That, so that. That immediately they is consider, not not even a prank. That is illegal. They consider it like biological warfare. No, <laughs> I was I war. was just being dramatic. Um, but no, there's there is a there there's a term for it, right? And it's 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 considered battery. It's not even assault. Yeah. It's battery. So the second one is the only one that's actually a prank, pretending to get your fingers cut off fake blood, that's the only one that's actually a prank. Whereas the other ones, it not only is disgusting, but you are forcing somebody to ingest what something. What was the time span? Uh, doesn't say. It just says these are the three pranks in particular. The third one is what she is considering divorcing him over. But yeah, the I mean baby poop on toast and you you do not love somebody if you put your baby's poop on toast and want them to consume it that at that point you know that they don't love you so yes i think that she should divorce him i mean if you the, ever depend, no, no, put, depending on what she wants to do he, she might get more than just divorce and like i'm saying like she could probably press charges oh but. right no 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 absolutely but at the very least divorce i yes absolutely yeah. should yes so if you're listening if you happen to be listening divorce his ass right now but i think between this the prank versus prank the daddy oh five i think the moral of the story is that you don't need to continue escalating no absolutely not Absolutely not. And there is also a difference between... Did he record any of them? Like, or did he just go it, and tell it, his it doesn't coworkers? Say. It doesn't say. But yeah, the third one, he says that his coworkers found it to be hilarious. Hilarious. Well, it also said mates. Right. So is it right. Australian, so it could, it, European? Who knows? It's Reddit. It's all over the world, right? Yeah. All right. The next one. Sounds funny. <laughs> <laughs> My 36 male, he is, girlfriend, 26 female, makes her vagina talk to me and will not stop. With our hands or with queefs? <laughs> that's... It's... With, it's, no, it's, but that's, it's, 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 that, that, it's all of it. That's a question that the it's, audience was going to bring up. It's all of it. She's amazing. She's cute. She's funny. She's emotionally self-aware. Great communication skills and everything I've ever wanted. She's also quirky and dorky. 
which is new for me, but I enjoy it. After a lifetime of dating bad bitches, and I put that in quotation marks because that's what he did, I will now forever endorse dating dorks, except this one thing. She thinks it's incredibly funny to manipulate her vagina and provide a voice for it. I will be just minding my own business, playing a game or working on my laptop. And then, hi, handsome, how was your day? Are you hungry? I bought you cheeses, says her vagina. Okay. I want to say something real quick on behalf of the audience because I know somebody's going to say this in the comments. What? When you read these stories, your inflection, it sounds like you're reading a child story, like a bedtime story. No, I'm, I'm saying it like it makes it funny. You sound like you're reading me a bedtime story that I'm your child, but it's about a woman queefing <laughs> to her husband. That's how I've always read stories because I have four children. I know. So I read stories that way. I don't know why it never occurred to me, but just like right now, I just realized, yeah, okay, that's exactly what she's doing. There she is. Dress hiked up, no panties, both hands gripping her vulva a foot from my head and making her lips talk to me in this horrible, high-pitched, Grover-esque Muppet voice. Or more your cheeses. <laughs> Should I start doing that to you, Andrew? No, but Road Connect, you didn't hear it. Road Connect has a... Uh predefined sound effects yeah so i just play the cat meowing sound they heard it <laughs> <laughs> do you want my vagina to start talking to you like this <laughs> no especially not like a geriatric old man that's missing his teeth i mean thankfully it's missing its teeth but it's... <laughs> whereas you've always said that i have a vice grip <laughs> with teeth in there to bite it off I mean, you can have a vice grip without having teeth. No, you've already said that there's probably teeth in there. But that, that's the gummy bite. You know, like <laughs> people that have dentures that take out their the dentures. Ma, 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 ma. Yeah. Like that? Ooh. Yeah. I didn't like that. All right. How did you feel about that story? Would you date a dork if uh, no. she had a vagina that talked to you, Andrew? No. You wouldn't? Would you break up with her over it? Probably not. So you would date her? No. If we can get to that point. <laughs> okay, whatever. All right, the next one. What is the worst thing you have ever done? This one, I feel like it's going to be you. Okay. So I started dating this divorced mom who had a five or six-year-old crotch goblin who was utterly convinced that his mom and dad were going to get back together. Needless to say, he didn't like me very much and basically turned into the Antichrist whenever his mom wasn't looking and did... This is spelled incorrectly, so... Uh, sure. He did... I'll just jump the word because it was wrong. He did an effective job of cock-blocking me. So on one of these rare occasions when the walking talking argument for pro-choice was with his father i took a piss in the bottom of his dresser drawer his mom found it sometime later and confronted him about it he told her it wasn't him and tried to blame me which caused his mom to go absolutely ape shit at him for lying because who would ever believe that a grown ass man would piss in a kid's dresser and forced him to apologize to me for lying about it. Long story short, he avoided me like the plague after that and I got to fuck the shit out of his mom. <laughs> Are they still together? That was the end of the story. What was this supposed to have been posted? Um, this is actually a screenshot from Reddit? Yeah, or a screen yeah. No, I'm saying... A screenshot that you took, or is it a screenshot from social media that somebody else shared? It was shared from somebody else. Twitter. But they changed, they removed the names. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's dumb. 
<laughs> you want to search it up to find out if they're still together? Well, ask that that subreddit is fucking massive. You'll never find that. Hmm. Ask Reddit. You would have to search. You'd have to do it on the computer and literally copy paste like the mm. entire first paragraph. <laughs> would you ever do that, Andrew? No. If any of my kids no. were cock blocking you, what no. would you do? Let me try something. Else. I'll just use Lens and see if I can find it. Okay. What would you do if one of my kids were cock blocking you? I don't know. They've never tried, so <laughs> it's like a weird question to ask. I don't think it'll ever happen, so I found it was two years ago. Damn. But that's from subreddit or copy pasta, so somebody else shared it. It might mm -hmm. have been deleted by Neil. Mm -hmm. Somebody's trying to it on TikTok. Mm -hmm. So on copy pasta, yeah, copy pasta was two years ago. Special place in hell for guys like that, and I'd probably want to meet them and laugh with them. Like characters. <laughs> yeah. So, Would you shake his hand? Huh? Would you shake his hand for peeing in a five-year-old's drawer to mark his territory? <laughs> no, that's weird. There's something less. Yeah, something less dramatic that you could figure out yeah. to. For a five-year-old. Go to therapy together. Why don't you do that? No. There's something better than that. There's something better than therapy? Yeah. Just like, I don't know, like execute their favorite stuffed animal or something. Oh like, my God, no. No, no, no. Sit on the Go couch. To sit on the couch and just slowly rip its head off. No. Go to therapy. No. Mm -hmm. No. All right. I've got one more. Okay. This is on the Confessions subreddit. Okay. Am I saying that right? Subreddit? Yeah. If it's r slash, yes. Yeah, r slash confession. Okay. I receive oral sex regularly from my older married neighbor, and I feel guilty about it. How old is older? Probably just a few years older. Hopefully not extremely older, but I don't know. She's married, and I don't think he is. Okay. I helped her fix a problem with her car, and she invited me in for a beer. As thank you. And one thing led to another, and she ended up giving me a blowjob. Okay. She doesn't want to go further than that because she says that is considered cheating. But she said she likes that I'm more endowed than her husband, and she has an oral fixation. So she really enjoys doing it. I really enjoyed it, too, because she's not bad to look at, and honestly, she gives better head than I think I've ever had. She will regularly stop by when her husband isn't home just to give me a quick blow job. She's even shown up late at night while he's asleep just to suck me off. Okay. I'm just kind of hung up on more than a blow job is cheating, but a blow job isn't? You said like 20 episodes ago that even chatting with an AI bot was cheating. So <laughs> there's there's definitely a spectrum that people fall yeah. within. I mean, there are men that try to convince women of certain things. There's women that try to convince men of certain things. If it's not emotional, it's not cheating. No. There's. I'm saying that these are the arguments that people make. It's all cheating. Thinking about putting your dick in somebody else, putting your dick in some, something else. Okay, let me ask you a question. If somebody, if you were having a conversation with Bonsai Buddy. What's that? That's the OG chat bot. What? There used to be this little purple monkey that would be on your computer screen like 20 years ago. And you could talk to it. It wasn't very good. Okay. But that's like having a conversation with this purple monkey. Okay. Is that cheating? No. So, but what's the difference between the chatbots that we have now and Bonsai Buddy? None of them are sentient. None of them have feelings. None of them have emotions. Okay, but you're taking a chatbot in the corner of a screen. We were talking about um, AI only fans. 
Okay. Like videos, nudes. Pretty sure we were also just talking about just text chat. No. Okay. No. We were talking about only fans so text and chat. they were So text chat without the porn modal to it is okay in your mind. It's weird. But it's okay in your mind. It's weird. So is there a difference between images that are generated and video that's generated in your mind? It's all weird. If you're getting turned on by a computer, No, no, that's I'm asking, weird. no, because you said that it was cheating in one of the other episodes. So I'm asking you, like, I'm trying to find where Yeah, because you you're, define... becoming, you're becoming invested, even if it's not necessarily emotional, you're becoming invested in this thing. Okay. And, yeah, that I would say is so, bordering into cheating. So if, you're... so if the text isn't, are images, if it can generate images. Because yeah. all... Almost again, all... you're you're gro you're growing an investment in this thing. So, if as long as it can't generate images, it's not. No, not necessarily. I can't blanket say yes or no because. Okay. If you're invested in it and you're spending time and. So people that are in a relationship and then kiss a roller coaster is cheating. Kiss a roller coaster? Yeah, like that woman that married the roller coaster. Again, that's weird. See, you have to understand that I'm asking because philosophically there's different ways to analyze this. Mm -hmm. And I, at that point, I wouldn't want to be with somebody who's wanting to make out with a roller coaster because obviously I could never fulfill them. But you would want to be with somebody who wants to chat with a chatbot? No, it's kind of, it, I'm using that as an analogy. Like, it's the same thing. I no longer would want to be with that person because I obviously could not fulfill them because they but, want to be with an AI generated something. But how would you know if they wanted to kiss a roller coaster unless they talked about it all the time? Right. Can you can you be in a roller coaster position and, and speaking of, <laughs> speaking of roller coasters actually, um, did you see the kid that just died? No. Some high school kid apparently. Where there was a I. I actually didn't read that far. Um, some high school age kid was uh, they they apparently what they found out and there was actually there was another roller coaster incident just a couple of days ago. People okay. were stuck upside down. The fire department had to rescue them. Uh huh. But apparently there was something. There's a sensor for like this the the lap bar that comes down plus okay. the seatbelt, and it was manually adjusted by somebody and it was off like uh. it was incorrect. So actually it wasn't holding him in, and it was one of those sky drop things where you go up and so he was just oh my flung gosh, out of it. No, that's terrible. Yeah, he was flung out of it and the 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 nine one one call is actually what I listened to. That's so terrifying. There there's not video of it happening, at least not video that anybody's posted. Right. So it's audio of the nine one one call right. of the woman saying he's dead, he was thrown oh, out of the roller coaster. That's so sad. Yeah. That's so sad. I can't imagine. But it was just actually there was something in the other video I want to talk about corridor, but talking about corridor, uh, they put out a video yesterday. It was these uh, fake um, like safety videos. Okay. They were taking like cringy like eighties nineties safety videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were making them like for like these weird current day situations. Okay. And give me an example. Just just weird random stuff. So one okay. of them uh, was a guy that was like. He was working on some heavy equipment. Something happened. And he got stuck, and then the lights went out. The forklift came around and paid them. And all this. Oh wow! So it was, but it's like this whole like escalating thing. Like yeah. this shit would probably never happen, but it could. Right, right. It could. Anything could. But there was one where a guy was the roller coaster operator mm -hmm. was crossing through one of the cars that didn't mm -hmm. have any people on it, mm -hmm. and as he was going through, the operator on the other side of the platform pushed the button. And the clamp came down on his arm and pulled him along with the roller coaster and ripped his body apart. That would be terrifying. So, and, and I don't know, like, what their production schedule is like. So, I don't know when they actually filmed and produced this video. I just right. know when it was published. So, they had a friend who's a stuntman mm -hmm. who the last time that he was at their studio mm -hmm. had jumped over this table and broke his collarbone. And they were pitching doing this. And then they're like, oh, yeah, I remember so and so. And they pulled up his Instagram and he had just posted a picture that day about how he broke his other collarbone. <laughs> they're like, yeah, so we need to make these safety videos 
so that everyone can stay safe at home. But they were uh, the one cash laughed really hard at the one. It was so it was stupid. This guy was like next to a piece of equipment and he like got his arm too close mm -hmm. and like pulled his arm in, ripped his arm off, and then the drum like reengaged. So he's like laying there. So th actually, let me back up. The thing started. There was a puddle of water with a downed electrical line in it, mm -hmm. and he like walks up to it and he stops. He's like, no, 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 <laughs> like I'm not gonna step in it. And then he stops back and he sticks his arm into this fucking machine that rips it off. Oh my god! So he's he's on his knees and he's like crying, and his own arm is coming back and fucking bopping oh into the fucking ledge. And he's trying to reach up to the button. There's a button for emergency stop, and then there's a button for um, go faster. Go and then his other arm slips into it and it rips it off. Oh my god! So he's, and Cash is laughing he's, at this? Yeah, he's being bopped in the head by his own thing. And then he's like, he's crying and he falls back into the puddle and gets electrocuted. And some thing breaks. He ends up being picked up by this hook from the ceiling. Yeah. And then there's another hook passing by. Oh, he's wearing flip flops. That's the other thing. Okay. So he made the decision at the beginning of the video to work flip flops to a factory okay so he's being hung up on one side by one hook and then the other hook snags his other foot okay and it rips his legs off okay then his his body falls into a box of children's stuffed uh bunnies okay and the robot boxes him up and he gets delivered to a family oh my god <laughs> he's on top of this bunny and the little girl opens the box ah! and she looks in, she's like yeah, yeah. And so she pulls out his torso. They, ah! they stage his torso, and he's still alive, in a chair next to the bunny rabbit for a little tea party. And she's dancing in the background. Going, she, she, oh my she, she, God. She, she. That's demonic. Yeah. That's terrible. I shouldn't laugh at that. But Cash was. And then the end of the video. They had like their own like in somebody like dropped a, a can of Sprite like off the balcony. Yeah. And their computer blew up. And so they give another it's like it's like a like a meta thing. So they're okay. like, they made these videos and they're having to make a video about making the videos. Okay. And they only have one employee left. And he's sitting there just for the last like literal minute, it went on forever. He's like <laughs> What? And Cass just and lost his mind. He's just laughing so hard. There's just one guy in a little little pop up foldable chair, just <laughs> and like his rhythm of his claps keeps changing. There's no consistency. Oh <laughs> yeah, you have to watch it because it's funny. Uh, anyways, well, I think that's it for this episode. But I want to do an episode where you guys send in questions for us. For us to talk about. Okay. So, how best do we do that? I asked this like a month ago. I don't know. The The AMA thing will probably work best on my personal Facebook because that's where the majority of people that would consume our content would immediately engage back. We can put it We can put it up everywhere. Okay. And people can comment everywhere. Yes, yes. But we're probably going to get the most feedback in one concise location on my okay. personal Facebook. Well, I want to do that. Okay. So yeah. let's make that happen. Okay. We need the other mic to work first. Yeah. This this will be a week later from this episode being aired. If How about we have that? a mic. We will. We will. Okay. We'll see. We will. We will. We'll make it happen. Get subscribed. Leave a comment. Be entered to either one of the two. Yeah, either the 500 or the 1,000. You're going to win the same amount no matter what. So there you go. There you go. Remember to invite your grandma, invite your babysitter. Babysitter. Invite your kid's babysitter. Just don't pee in your kid's drawer. There you go. And don't feed people baby poop. Sure. Bye. Sure. <laughs> Bye. Bye.